was hearing the testimony, I also wanted to say testimony that I'm leaving this uh, Wednesday, but I didn't want to add to that. But anyway, I could hear, you know, so many testimonies, you know. But that's good to hear that you need prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're not saying testimony so that someone else knows what's happening in your life rather than you want to someone to pray for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a good that's a good thing that I'm seeing nowadays in this church, especially because most of their, you know, people doesn't want much of their prayers because they 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 trust in uh, uh, you know, uh, the the ticket that they have, the boarding pass that they have, the passports, uh, you know, uh, my passport can take me to 153 countries. You know? My passport, oh, the other person say, no, 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 my passport is more powerful. I heard uh, recently one talk saying, like, um, uh, who is number one, uh, uh, like, you know, with the passports can travel most countries. No. Ask according to a child of God. He needs a prayer behind him. Praise the Lord. He needs a passport of prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are traveling. We are going. We are approaching various situations, you know, with a prayer. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad for, to see uh, such testimonies and hear such testimonies. God bless you. I don't want to, you know, take more introductions, but let me get into the word of God. That's what we are here for, right? We are here to listen to the word of God. Not, not something that I, ha I want to say, not something else. We want to listen what God wants to speak. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's uh, get into Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8. Um, I may be reading a couple of verses today, so um, if someone can help me reading, that would be great. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Praise the Lord. How many of you can say a loud hallelujah? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are sitting here, right? Praise the Lord. In this church, we all start worshiping God from 1030, uh, might be, or be, uh, before that. But anyway, we started worshiping God. We started praising God. We, we are here. We know God. We, we have baptized. We are saved. But let me ask you one question. Do you think the, the salvation that you received... Because you paid something, you gave something, you deserve it. No, I don't deserve to stand here this morning. I am not worthy. I am not the person to stand here right now. I am saying that. You are not worthy to sit here and say, hallelujah. You cannot praise God. You are not worthy. What made me and you worthy here? The blood of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And let me say one more thing. When we say this is the gift of God, we always say our salvation is gift free. Free. Salvation is a gift. We get it. We get it. We ask for it. We get it. But don't forget someone paid for it. Never forget something that someone has paid for for it. Praise the Lord. You get a store, you see free. Wow, that's free. Doesn't mean that the person I'm mean, selling that stuff got it for free. He's giving it to you for free because he wants you to be happy when you are in his store. When you go out of the store, he wants to see your smiling face. He want to make sure that the next time you will come to this store, you will bring so many people inside. That's what God wants to be. You want to, he wants you to be happy. Praise the Lord. That's why he has given his life on the cross. And we are getting it for free. Because you know he has paid it all. Not even a penny is left. You don't have to pay even a penny to be. I mean, praise out from this pit. He has paid for you. I'm a journey to outside the pit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I used, to, I used to say sometimes in my church, we were in a pit. We were in a pit. Someone had to give me a big you know, ladder or a hand or a rope to take me out of the pit. Someone has to pay for it. Someone has to request other person for it. Someone has to call, you know, either way, I should say like 911 to help me, right? On this road, you see someone, you know, accident, uh, met with an accident and you call 911. You are helping him. That's what Jesus did for me. Praise the Lord. He saw me on the pit. He didn't ignore me. He asked, I'm a Lord, the Father. I'm a, can I help him? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why you and me here this morning. Praising God with smiling faces and with all happy. 
we are here this morning shouting to the Lord because he has helped us to come out of the pit of sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We should be more, more, more happy than how we are right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me get into uh, the word of God, uh, uh, which God has given to me. Um, I would like to talk to you about three salvations that happened. Three salvations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, when, when I get into the three salvations, you will, you will get to know something that I'm related to the words that we have read. It's, it's a gift of God. Let's get into Acts chapter 16, verses um, 3 onwards. Can someone help me reading? Acts chapter 16, verses 3. So listen, Paul is going on a mission trip. He's starting his mission trip. And when he's starting his mission trip, he met a Jewish family. And he had, he got a, she had a son whose name was Timothy. And Paul said, can I take this, your son with me? Paul doesn't know where he's going. Paul doesn't know whether I'm going to come back alive. Paul doesn't know where I'm going to be successful. Paul knows one thing, the God who called me, he's calling this son. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's asking the mother of Timothy, can I take your son with me? Praise the Lord. If someone comes to your home, step into your house and ask your only dearly child, can I take your son with me? What do you say? What do you, what do you ask? What do you ask? You can take him? Please. Please take him. Is that the way you say? Where are you taking him? Where are you taking him? All parents are not saying. Right? <laughs> so where are you taking him? The question will be where are you taking him? If you ask Paul, what will he say? I don't know. Listen. If you ask Paul, his answer is going to be, I don't know. So your, second, your phrase is going to change now. Next question when are you going to come back with my son? Always say, I don't know if I am going to come back or not. Praise the Lord. How can you ask a mother to give your son, though you don't know where you're going, you don't know when you're coming back, you don't know which place you're going to stay, you don't know which food you're going to eat, which dress you're going to wear, to whom's house you are going to go, even though the mother doesn't know this thing. He knew the God of Paul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She knows Paul is not calling my son. It's the Holy Spirit calling my son. Praise the Lord. Can you say loud hallelujah? Can you praise you to this morning and say loud hallelujah and say, God, how may I give my family into thy hands? Praise the Lord. That's the believer. That's how it was. That's how it was. Ask your forefathers. Ask your dear parents. They have a story to tell you. Not a story that we know. Not a story that, as I said before, not a story with a return ticket. As a, a story that has only one way ticket. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Doesn't know whether I am going to come back or not. But I know one thing. I live for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's the spirit of a believer. Praise the Lord. Today, if you have to believe, you, have, you need two things. When this is going to happen? How this is going to happen? Praise the Lord. Two questions. Dear pastor, if you answer me, surely I believe in God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, I, I used to say like, you know, there were so many healings happened in, when Jesus was there. So many he, different types of healings. You know, deaf could hear. Uh, you know, people who cannot walk could walk. Uh, uh, the, the people who were dead alive. So many things happened. No one asked Jesus how you are going to do this. When you are going to do this. The answer is, are you ready to believe? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus have a question to you this morning. Jesus have a question to you this morning. Are you willing to believe? One question. Not the question, can you walk? Not the question, how long? Not the question, how far? Not the question, which family you belong to? Not the question, which team are you with? Which community are you in? Jesus had one question. Are you willing to believe me? You might be poor. 
You might be homeless. You might not have anything in your pocket. I don't want to see anything in you. I only want to know one thing. Do you have faith in your heart? You are going to go like a rich man. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that this morning? You may be poor. Jesus said once. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't get the, you know, English word. Uh, verses. I, I, I was telling my brother, I usually speak in Malayalam in my church. So some verses, you know, it's hard to get. Atma will derider our our bhagyavan mar. Blessed are the, I mean, are those who are poor in spirit. Why? For they shall. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you poor? God is going to make you rich. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, let me get fast. Go, go fast uh, uh, with the verses. So, now the, 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 the mother is in a question. Whether to send my son. But this mother knows one thing. I mean, she is a believer. There in, in that verses, you can see that uh, in um, uh, uh, verse uh, 1. If, if someone can read that. Uh, 16, 1. So listen. She was not like us, just a believer. She was not just, you know, a, 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 a person of, I mean, who prays to God. She was also a believer. I mean, she was not just was a Jew and a believer. She was not just a Jew who obeyed the commandments, but she was also a believer. She was willing to send her son. I mean, Paul now hold the hands of Timothy, Luke. I mean, Shalas, they all four are starting their journey. Doesn't know where they're going. Doesn't know what they're going to do. But they started their journey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, I mean, here comes. I mean, here is my message going to start. Praise the Lord. Their journey has started. They are started to go forward. They started to move forward. I mean, praise the Lord. The plan that Paul had was, the plan Paul had was to go to Britannia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His plan to go there and preach the gospel. Paul had a plan. Can you read verse 7? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Now the plan has changed. The spirit of God has asked them not to. Praise the Lord. Lord. What will I do with my all these people around me? I have four people accompanying me. I know I have already told them. I mean, I will take you safe. I will take you to Britannia. I know a person there. But now you are holding me. Remember, God holds you. God put hurdles in front of you. It's not to challenge you. It's to take you to a safest place that you ever know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now God is, is against. Who is against him? God. The spirit of Jesus. The spirit of Jesus is now opposing him not to go. No, I'm not letting you to go. Praise the Lord. I mean, there is going to be a big argument between Paul's I mean, spirit inside him and the spirit of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I mean, shall I go? No. Shall I do this? No. Shall, can I go there? No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You used to say your kids, right? I mean, can I eat this? No. Can I go there? No. When you keep saying no for a couple of times, what they're going to do? Next, I have another plan, which I'm not going to tell you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, so you cannot say no anymore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But Paul is not that person. He obeyed the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Do you obey the Spirit of God? Even though you have a child. I mean, praise the Lord who is willing. I mean, who is willing to come with you even to the, I mean, praise the Lord, valley of death. I mean, there are four people accompanying him. But yet they are all sure that Paul is the best person. I mean, Paul is the right person who can, I mean, keep us safe. Because he has a living God with him. So the journey is starting. The journey is starting. I mean, praise the Lord. First, first uh, we always say, right, the first impression is the impression praise the lord hallelujah that's the best impression ever praise the lord hallelujah so usually uh i don't know in uh, uh in, in uh, some some years back i would say in matrimonials and all you can see right age you know, and uh, should be spirit filled should be god fearing right so many different uh, wordings uh you can see there but see nowadays i recently saw uh, a matrimonial uh, uh advertisement 
you know, that says, which is interesting, working from home. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I was, so, I was so upset to see that. Now the intention is not being faithful, not being spiritual, not being saved, not being baptized, not being living for God. Now the intention is, I am, I'm an, I'm an, I have everything that you want because I have money with me. Praise the Lord. Money can't take you anywhere, but God can take you everywhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you are happy? Say aloud, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now the journey is starting. Praise the Lord. First impression is not good. Timothy is looking at him. This guy is going to help us. People started to look at him. Paul, what are you doing to do? Praise the Lord. Paul didn't, I mean, escape from God's word. I mean, praise the Lord. He didn't look for, I mean, praise the other advices from Timothy or Luke or, or Silas. He didn't go for anyone else's opinion. He stayed with God's spirit. Praise the Lord. That's what God wants this morning. You should stay with God's spirit. Never take human opinions. Never take man's words. Never go with any advices. Stay with the spirit of God. He is going to guide you to the right place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It may not be happy. I would say that. It is not always happy. It never keep you smiling with a smiling face always. You know, the, uh, the forefathers who, who came to serve God, they never had a smiling face. They always, you know, I mean, was upset. Praise the Lord. But they had a filling spirit within them. Praise the Lord. I mean, whatever the situation doesn't, they doesn't care. They know a living God. I mean, praise the Lord. None of the journey is going on. I mean, can you, uh, can you uh, uh, read uh, verse 9, please? So night, till, till the night didn't have any plans. Paul doesn't have any plans because the spirit of Jesus is not disclosing anything to Paul. They are, I would say they are standing in a bus stop. Let, let, us, let, let me put that away. Doesn't know which bus to take. Doesn't know which train to take. Doesn't know which ship to board. We are, we are in the middle of nowhere. I have three people with me. God, you put me to shame. The night Paul slept. Disappointed. He is disappointed. He has no luck. He slept that night. And what happened? He saw his vision. You can read the vision once again, please. There's a man standing and begging him. How? What is the man doing? Begging him. Come over to. Macedonia and help us. Praise the Lord. You know, last day, why you couldn't board a plane? Why you couldn't you board a, a boat or get anything else? Because God wants someone is crying for help, which whom you never know. You didn't see him, but God is seeing that person, the begging person, the crying soul is looking for a salvation. He's looking for I mean, a solution. That's the reason last night you were struggling. You were starving. You were running out of, I mean, no luck. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the person whom you cannot see, God is seeing that person. Praise the Lord. How many of you are happy this morning? I mean, praise the Lord. I mean, I mean, how many nights you have begged in front of God. God, send me a man to me. God, send me a solution to my life. God, please, how, I mean, how, lead me to the right way, right path. How many nights you have cried. And let me tell you, if I ask a testimony this morning, I know most of you can rise up on their feet and say, Yes, I cried, but the very next day, I see two legs knocking on my door. I hear a knocking voice on my door. Last night I begged for help. Not to man, not to man, remember, not to relatives, not to friends, not to I mean, I mean, anyone else, those whom he knows. The Macedonian man is crying for help to God, the helper, the creator, the I mean, man who made the universe. Can you start crying to him? Let me tell you, can you start crying to that man? I mean, he is going to open you a vision, praise the Lord. He is going to make you a hero in that vision. 
Let me tell you, I mean, you are going to the hero of the vision. Orika la ba shapara da ba uda ba siyaba da. Vira al kabara ba shaga da la raga al kada di ampara raga si. I mean, the name of Jesus. I mean, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the spirit of God, I mean, praise the Lord, walk in midst of the people. Let wonders happen this morning. Let God's purpose happen. Oh, Judara Bara was Shambala, Regal Kadavi, Arta Proud of Araba Shagala Regada, Regal Kadavi, Amparavada, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Oh, Judara Bara Bara was Shagala Regada, the Lakabaraga Nagasi. Amen. You may not be a hero in the world, you may not be a hero in Amen anyone else's face, but you are going to the hero in the vision. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you're happy, lay loud hallelujah this morning. Oh, Judara Bara was Shagala Ragaduda, Ragel Kabara was Shakta Rabada. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are going to be the person. Don't worry. Don't worry. Keep crying. Keep crying to your God. Keep crying to your God. He is making the script, He is preparing the script. Oh, Ribara was Shabara Ragaragasi. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is putting you as a main character. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I mean, this morning, are you happy to say, Lord, I won't cry to anyone else other than you. Praise the Lord. You are the one who can make, I mean, dreams happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what's happening? What's, what, what has happened now? I mean, praise the Lord. Now the main character is the beggar. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you say it loud? Hallelujah. You beggar. You are the main character in Sir Paul's dream. Not Jesus. Not anyone else. You are the main character. He appeared and he's asking, can you help me? These days there is options. I can call pastor. I can call him and say, pastor, can you please pray for me? Can you please come to my home? My son is crying, or my wife is crying, my husband is crying, or I am facing these issues in my life. Can you please come home? Pastor will take his car and run, run away to your house. He comes inside, knock the door, get inside, or he may not knock the door inside, depending on the situation. He runs inside, take you, pray for you, sit with you, fast with you. But remember, we are talking of an era which didn't have mobile phones, unfortunately. There was no telephones. There was no telegraphs. There was no email. There was no WhatsApp. There was no Facebook. There was nothing. Only hope is praying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Only person to help is God. Only person to cry is Jesus. There was nothing else, nothing else today. Why, why our beliefs are going down? Why our faiths are destroying? Because we have options. Your options are number one. I'm in my mobile phone. Where is my phone? Where do you check first if you need help? You find your phone, you're like glad. You can see a smile on your face. Praise the Lord. Second thing you look for is internet. Do you have that on your phone? No need of help of anyone. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Because why? Not because you're okay. Because you have everything that you need. Remember. Do not forget. That was not the case at that time. They were preaching and the man was crying to God. God, no one is there to help me. Can you help me? God is making a telephone call to Paul. Praise the Lord. I mean, do you remember the connection calls that your parents did in old days? They connect the calls. I mean, praise the Lord. I mean, the begging man made a call to God. He made a direct call to Paul. Praise the Lord. He made a telephone and said, Hey, Paul, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up! You have to go to Macedonia. I have a man begging there. Praise the Lord. I what an awesome God. I and you serve. Can you say loud hallelujah? Not enough. This hallelujah, this praise, this glory, this I'm in worship is not enough. What a God I serve. What a master I have. What a dad I have! What a brother I have! 
He's awesome. He's great. He's marvelous. Because if I make a phone call to him and say, can it say this to my mom? He will do that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad for, to have this God as my God. Praise the Lord. Not because I'm in praise the Lord of anything else. He gave me, you know, beautiful, I'm in family, beautiful house, beautiful things around me. No, I don't care. It's because he is my dad. I don't care anything else. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me get fast into the word of God. I know time is going so fast. I'll wind up so soon. <coughs> so, where we are now? I forgot. Right. So, now we are in Macedonia. The, the dream is happening in the best stop. I'm in praise. He suddenly, I'm in woke up and said, come on. The destination is open. Praise the Lord. Do not cry. Do not cry. We have the destination open. Praise the Lord. I got one way ticket from heaven. Praise the Lord. I got the ticket to go. I got the guidance from Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now Paul is starting his journey with the, I mean, three other people. Praise the Lord. I mean, first they went to a city called, I mean, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, that's called, uh, um, uh, yes, uh, Sabotras. And uh, can you read verse 13, please? Amen. They went to? They, they, they now reached uh, Macedonia. If you read uh, uh, one verse about that, you will, you will get to know that. Yeah. Oh. So we stayed there <coughs> several days. So remember, now they don't have a place of worship. Praise the Lord. First thing, Paul was looking for what? What is the church? What we look for, where is a park? Small difference. Praise the Lord. We look for, we go to a city and see wow, which is a beautiful place to go. Or do you ask, where is a church? Which one do you ask first? Be honest. Doesn't matter. Be honest. <laughs> it's okay. I know it's a hard question. I don't want to put your trouble in front of pastor. So, okay. So we look for, where is the church? We ask, where is the church? So was the same thing was Paul. He was asking, where is the church? They couldn't find a church. Unfortunately, they didn't find a church. So what they did? Can you read? Oh. Amen. There was a bunch of women who gathered on the banks of the river and was praising God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They gathered on the banks of the river. I mean, and Paul I mean, went between, in midst of them and started to speak. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He don't know where to go. He don't know what to do. But he started to speak. I mean, praise the Lord. I mean, please read a little more. Amen. And the uh, one lady who was listening was Lydia. Praise the Lord. Amen. And what happened to this lady? I mean, she was listening to what Paul is saying. Paul doesn't know where to go, where to worship, what to how to start. But remember, he know I have a dream. One man is crying. Praise the Lord. He only know one thing. One person is crying. He is searching for that crying man. Praise the Lord. Amen. He is looking around. Anybody is crying. He didn't find anyone crying. Everyone is smiling. If I look here, you all are smiling, right? I can see so many smiles, even though some are not, but it's okay. I can see so many smiling faces. But if I ask you personally, let me come close to you and ask. You say, brother or pastor, I'm smiling because Paul said rejoice always. Praise the Lord. Not because I am so happy. Not because I'm so proud. Because I am smiling because Jesus lives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and there, the, the lady, the description of the lady is she is a seller of clothes. Remember the old days, the purple clothes was one of the royal, royal garment, which everyone cannot buy. Everyone cannot use. 
and everyone cannot sell. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And how come this lady is selling? She is not a poor lady. Remember, she is not a poor lady. Oh, Paul is like, no, no, no. Cannot happen. I am looking for a poor man begging. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, our thoughts are like that. We look outside, purple clothes. No, no. This is not the man. Right? We look at the, I mean, clothes. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. This is not the person I am looking for. I am looking for who has a torn shirt and a torn pant. And who doesn't, you know, uh, can't see or walk with a stick. He's walking around. I'm looking for that man. But he had a dream. What was the dream? A begging man standing and asking, can you help me? Praise the Lord. Paul said, no, no, this lady and family cannot be in any way. But listen, listen, what happened? Can you, uh, can you read a little more down further? Oh. A man, praise the Lord. Paul, remember, remember, if you go I mean, with the Holy Spirit, you don't have to open God will open. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul, if you are with the Spirit, you and the Holy Spirit have a connection. If you and the God has a contact, you don't open. God will open. Praise the Lord. You just talk. You just keep talking. You just speak to them. I mean, God is the worker. Praise the Lord. Here, there is a small difference. We are the worker. And God is the helper. Praise the Lord. Which means... We do. And God will help that what we do. Praise the Lord. We consider that way. Praise the Lord. But no. You are the helper. You keep talking. You keep talking Paul. Keep talking. Don't, don't, don't go back. Keep talking to these ladies. Keep talking to them. Don't look their purple clothes. Don't look anything else. You keep talking. You keep talking. Paul started to talk. And God started to work. Praise the Lord. Can you say loud hallelujah this morning? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me finish so fast. I know time is going. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now God is working. God is working. God, amen. Praise the Lord. Opened her heart. Praise the Lord. God just opened the rich lady's heart. Which means God doesn't care you are rich. God doesn't care who you are. Which cloth you sell. What dignity you have in the community. God only wants one thing. Are you a true worshipper? Praise the Lord. This morning God is looking at one thing. I mean, are you a true worshipper? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. And can you can you read a chat a little more further down? Remember, remember. God opened her heart. She opened her house. Praise the Lord. What happened? What happened? God opened her heart and let God open my house also. Anyway, he did this job. Why can't he go do the other job? Doesn't he have a key? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, God opened your heart means you do the rest. Praise the Lord. I mean, God opened Lydia's heart. She went home and opened her house. That is what God wants. That is a true salvation. Praise the Lord. That is a true believer. That is a true, I mean, faith. Praise the Lord. Coming to church, worshiping God, you know, with the a, with, with a, with a praise, worship, going home, closing the door. Praise the Lord. Doesn't match. Sorry. Doesn't match. Praise the Lord. You are a believer. You open your house for prayer. Praise the Lord. That's what God wants. Doesn't matter. You live in North America. You live in South America. You live in, you know, uh, 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 whichever city or, you know, island or I don't know. I mean, wherever you live. Doesn't care. God opens your heart. Are you, do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Then you open your house for prayer. Praise the Lord. In your house, prayer should rise. In your house, pastors should come with the believers and start worshipping. Inside your house, testimony should rise. Your house is your tears. It is the place of God to visit. 
I used to tell my church, you know, the, the, the Garden of Eden was God's first Adam's and uh, you know, Eve's house. First house. First house is so important for us, right? So important for us. So God, what happened? Every evening, God will come. Why God? You're coming every day evening. We have a lot of things to do. Last week you told us, go put names for all the animals. Didn't even finish that task. You're coming every day evening. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Weekly once please. Twice please. No. If it is your house, God will come every day. Praise the Lord. Regardless, you like it or not, God wants to see his children. Praise the Lord. I used to tell my believers, you know, I mean, open your house. If your house heart is open, praise the Lord. I mean, worship, praise, give thanks. I mean, give offerings, give praises. That's why your house is for. Praise the Lord. Not stacking, you know, uh, uh, beautiful things, uh, hanging pictures. Good. That's awesome. I like it. But your house should be a place of worship. Let me go so fast. I know I have a lot of things to say. So right now we finish one person's salvation. Two more is left. <coughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm looking at pastor because I just want to make sure <laughs> he's fine. I mean, praise the Lord because I will leave this Wednesday. He's going to stay here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I say, uh, get a loud hallelujah? So next one, I'm going to, I'm not going to make you read, but I'm going to say that. So the next person is a slave lady. A slave lady. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm winding up the Lydia's uh, portion. The slave lady. Every Now the place of worship changed. Because why I'm saying it has changed. Because every day before, several days, uh, Paul was walking and he didn't say the slave lady. He never saw the slave lady. But when now the worship place is where? Lydia's house. Today, cottage meeting is at? Lydia's house, we are going, Paul, with all the, all the believers. How many believers are there? Four plus one, five. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, five believers going to gather, praising God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you happy? Can you say, get a loud hallelujah? Number of people doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. You are one, you are two, you are three, you are hundred, you are, I mean, hundred thousand. God doesn't care the number. God trust your hearts. The five people going so happy with the Bible. I'm, I'm just using my words. I'm mean, going so happy. Get into the door. Knocking the door. I'm mean, Lydia already told, no, no, lock. Please, you come inside. I mean, I already left the doors. I'm in mean, lock. Everything is unlocked. Please come inside. I'm in mean, praise the Lord. They all go inside. Worship. But one thing is now haunting them. One thing. You know why? Every day they are going. One person is standing behind them and seems like mocking them. Every day. Every day, we would, have, we would have said we would have changed the route. No, no, no. This route is not good. We will change the put in Google Maps, alternate way. Uh, and we find, which is the behind the house. There is one more way. Five minutes walking, ten minutes train, and another two minutes swimming. I don't know. Whatever you want to say. After doing, even we are ready to do that. Why? Because I don't want to go that that way because I don't want to go that way because that person, lady standing there every day pastor I am coming to the church I am praying inside the church but this lady is not going did you pray for this lady to go or I mean to worship God praise the Lord, I mean praise the Lord I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I believe some days has passed, that's what we read from there some days has passed, this lady is every day behind them, I mean I'm saying not lies, she's not saying lies she's saying truth, what she saying predicting the future. She's saying, oh, these are the men of most holy God. They should be proud, right? If we are walking, just, just uh, I don't know if city is here, but in San Francisco city, you are walking in between the signal. One person behind you saying, oh, look at this person. He is the servant of most holy God. We will every day take that route. Why? We are not like Paul. We want to hear that. That gives us so much happy. You know, I mean, praise the Lord. But Paul was so much disappointed. Paul one day turned back and said, Hey, devil, leave her right now. Leave her. 
Leave her right now. He declared. And the right moment. And the very next moment. She was healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I get a loud hallelujah this morning? Chudana barava shakara raga tudara garaga si. Jeeval kabari amtara raga uda baraga si. Right moment. The spirit was spirit left to her. Pass for five more minutes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, praise the Lord. The right moment. I mean, praise the Lord. The spirit. Pastor, give me 10 minutes. I'm just letting you know. You don't look at the watch. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly stop. I know. I know it's time is too much, but I will, I, will, I will wind up before that. Praise the Lord. So what is happening now? She was completely healed. But what happened is like, the problem is not her deliverance. The problem is, I mean, people will come in the evening to collect money. business magnets or whatever you want to say the owner manager or team lead whatever you want to put in you know or accountant or they come in the evening ask how much first day half day she worked because after half day she got healed so she gave this much so they said okay we will be okay you should next tomorrow you should work hard she didn't say anything i'm using my own you know imagination next day they came in the evening she said nothing they said why 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 where did the money go why are you spending all this money praise the lord she said i am not spending money i am not gaining money praise the lord praise i am not getting money no one is giving me money i am mean, they said as if why 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 what happened because i am mean, the holy spirit touched me praise the lord hallelujah from today onwards my profit is for jesus not for the world praise the lord from now onwards i will be useful for my master in heaven not for the world here if you are healed if you are touched by the spirit you will not be useful for the world praise the lord next moment onwards you will be a profit person in heaven you will make lakhs millions trillions in heaven your stock is going to go high up praise the lord but in the world you will be a poor praise the lord all was happy i found the beggar at least the begging man i found but again the problem is this is not a man praise the lord the vision is not matching again praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord and the next uh, thing what happened they took paul and the poor solas who joined him i mean fortunately timothy was not there i mean they took these two i mean i mean praise struck them really nice beaten them up i mean praise the lord and put in prison jail remember remember slave lady remember lydia the salvation the freedom you are benefiting today is not free someone is beaten up for that praise the lord someone is crying inside the prison because you are healed you are sleeping tight to this night but, but the person who was praying for you is crying this night remember you are so supposed to sleep idle keep praying for the one who has prayed for you because they may be crying this night because they will be having a sleepless night praise the lord they got beaten up let me go so quick and uh, i will just read so there is another one verse in now uh, uh, 23 i mean the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully i don't understand why there is a careful guarding is required do you know i don't know why there is a careful guarding is required because some days back don't tell this to anyone but i'm just telling you couple of months or might be days back there was a man called peter he was caught by the romans put into jail with two soldiers left and right with the two chains on his hands and was there but next day morning this guy escaped it should not happen here shouldn't happen here in acts 12 you really can see that they said carefully watch this man they should not escape Praise the Lord. I was so happy reading this verse. I'm, I will say so quick. Peter was sleeping. And another thing is like Peter was taken by this angel. Here what happened you know. The worship started. Praise the Lord. What is the worship time? What is our worship time? Two? That's also we should say right. 
12:30 after that finished finished wake up go i mean regardless what's happening here time is up but remember 12 am sharp i mean they started with the chains chains was the instrument no keyboard no uh, drums chains paul used the chains they were stacking god i mean it's better than chinjil i know uh, most of the malayalam it's better than that nice music came started coming out i mean praise all and what happened you know that night while the worship happening the prisoners were releasing and when the worship began when the chains started making noise i mean praise the lord i mean their chains started to loosen from their hands praise the lord i mean regardless you are looking carefully or not my god is greater than you are i mean guarding my god is bigger my god is bigger they started singing hymn i used to say they started singing hymns what's hymns you know when peace like river thank you rose like seas billows roar what a with the chains with the chains it is well it is well it is well the music started the praise started the prisoner are suddenly saying it is well it is well it is well it is well with my soul it is w- Amen praise the lord can you say loud hallelujah pavel paul chains started so i get this well last night the prisoner so two flesh meats were dragging down the i mean prison i mean they thought they are dead but 12 am the spirit of god landed on them they started say it is well with my soul Ori bara ba shakara raga sia bara jubal kara ba shagara raga dara arta prauda ra bara ba shakara bara jubal kara atura bara raga raga si jiva prauda ra bara ba hastal kara riga mbala raga tara raga raga si praise the lord amen ho jura ra bara ba shambale ragal kadavara hallelujah hallelujah let the chains get loose from all the hands let the people break the prison they are in let the spirit of god this am in morning i will shake the i'm in prison cave let wonders happen let the light under the prison praise the lord hallelujah Jesus name oh we command let the spirit of God rise I'm a descend Amen 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 praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord third salvation third salvation third salvation what is the third salvation i mean the prison keeper ran to the che- i mean prison i mean and he took his sword and boy entered on his chest paul the prophet paul the anointed man didn't say it's okay we can escape god's purpose carry on did paul say that do not do harm to you we haven't escaped praise the lord hallelujah because the the jail keeper know the last time when peter escaped they killed the soldiers might be praise the lord they tortured them might be so he said no i'm going to start finish up i'm at the third salvation i have some more things to say but i'm just winding up the third salvation Praise the Lord hallelujah the prison keeper and the family surrender in that dark room removed their chains cried in front of them loud and said how can i be saved the begging man 
the begging man finally paul found the begging man he was not a beggar he was a child keeper a position with a star on his shoulder with authority in his hands he is come crying paul can i be saved can you save me paul said baptize and you and your family will be saved that night he washed his wounds send him back praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord one more thing that night paul was escorted by whom the soldiers outside if you read verses up uh, 34 i believe i don't know uh, that, that's okay uh, time is going so i don't want to read all those things but the last words if you go towards the end of the chapter you can see they escorted by the soldiers paul was escorted by angel remember if you stand for god if you pray start praying the jailer is going to escort you praise the lord this is the true word unchanging god powerful word to you to this morning god was speaking i am and let god the most high bless you and keep you safe and happy god bless you all i am and thank you pastor for the time and sorry everyone for taking some more time god bless you all i am and amen